because of changes in command structure to the PNP in Cebu City. Mayor Thomas Osmina announced that he will no longer going to be directly on the anti-drug program last July, and now, he also ends that no more Sinulog Sakabotin competition. Cebu City Mayor Thomas Osmina has stopped the holding of the Sinulog Sakabotin next year because this has been getting out of hand. He has also barred public schools from sending contingents to the Sinulog Grand Parade. He announced the change in the Sinulog 2017 activities in a press conference yesterday before he left for the United States for his annual medical checkup. The Sinulog Sakabotin is held the weekend before the solemn procession and grand parade, and is exclusively participated by public schools in Cebu City and Cebu province. Only the winners of the two-day parade join the Grand Parade. But this will no longer be the case starting 2017. I want to make this announcement early because this has been getting out of hand, he told reporters. He said he is announcing this four months before the annual Sinulog celebration so that schools will not start raising funds or disrupting classes of the students for their dance practices. The mayor said public schools spend as much as P1.5 million each for their contingent. He said the students practice at night and this disturbs classes of the night high schools. Who are the models of the slope, you know? The night high school students who are trying to study or the other people out in the street making noise so that these people cannot study? He asked. If the schools decide to directly join the Sinulog Grand Parade, Osmina said they will also be barred from doing so. No list off. Out, out, out. No participation at all in any shape or form. I don't like to give them any excuse that they will have to raise money. And practice and disturb classes and disturb their own schedule, Osmina said his decision is final. No more motion for reconsideration. Clear. Definite. 100%. There will be no Sinulog Sakabotin next year. Every Sinulog Sakabotin, the top five winners from the elementary and secondary division for public schools in the city and the province get slots in the Sinulog Grand Parade. This means that next year's Grand Parade will have 20 fewer dancing contingents. This will leave the out of town contingents dominating the Grand Parade. Osmina welcomed this since it will shorten the Grand Parade. He wants the event to end by 4.30 p.m. instead of the usual 9 p.m. closing performance, as what happened in the previous Sinulog celebrations. This will reduce and be able to help control peace and order if it ends early. We cannot stop everything but it will reduce, he said. Since the event will end early, there will be no grand fireworks display at the Cebu City Sports Center. The fireworks display at the Cebu Business Park and other malls can continue, he said, since these do not contribute to the rowdiness during the Sinulog. Will the cancellation of the Sinulog Sakabotin be permanent? Osmina said the 2017 event will have to be assessed first. Sinulog Foundation Inc. SFI Executive Director Ricky Bastero said they will talk to the mayor when Osmina comes back from his U.S. trip and convince him of the need for the Sinulog Sakabotin. We rarely see contingents composed of old people. Most of the dancers are the youngsters, the students. You rarely see a contingent that doesn't have young dancers, even those from out of town, he said. With fewer contingents, the grandiosity of Sinulog is diminished, he said. But we'll make we retain the real essence of the Sinulog, which is devotion to our senior stall, Nino, he said. This is a personal That is government resources. The government resources are intended for the benefit of the people of Cebu. Well, as I have said, 
siyang may complete control niya dahil he is the local chief executive. But, uh, alam niyo na, what will happen to Cebu kung magkulang ang support na sa itong kapulisan? So, I am addressing this to uh, Cebu City Police Office uh, personnel. Huwag kayo malukulang kung ayaw na magsuporta sa inyo ng local chief executive niyo. Continue the fight. We can do it. We can do it. We will survive. Hindi po naman dinidisregard yung importance ng kanyang support. We really, really need that. We really need that. So sana, maintindihan ni Mayor Rosminia yung aming pangangailangan sa kanya. We really need him very badly. Uh, ipong tanggal na mo ang inyong city director, ang inyong mga police na na-identify sa illegal drug trade. Parkahan na ito, wala na itong wala na itong cover-cover. So, pasensya na. Inanay ka, tininoda ako kung kumbati ka ron. So, pasensya na, sir. Uh, in as much I want to please you, but we have a job to do. Sana mo, masaptan ninyo mo. We really need you. Please don't uh, abund abandon us in this fight. We really need you. But kung di rin nakagusto mong suporta sa mga, what can we do? We will survive. I think na may upang yung mga, mga groups, mga businessmen na gusto mo tapang. So dito may mga itang suporta kung di na kang suporta sa mga kapulisan. But again, I, I am pleading you. I am pleading your indulgence. Kaloy itaw ni mga kapulisan. They are not your, uh, they are not your enemies. They are your people. Pasensya lang kung na, na ako na himo nga mga ika ka nasukot nimo, kapag nuod nimo, but uh, we have to do this 